r slash ask reddit what is society doing now that in 20 years will be laughed at and ridiculed believing that video evidence is actual believable and trustworthy evidence edit okay this blew up a bit thanks for the metal medals kind strangers a shame op deleted the thread oh this one scares me but it's true people need to believe and nowadays they'll believe anything high consumption of added sugars this was gonna be mine i think well look at people who drink lots of sodas in 20 years like we look at cigarette smoker today sodas and energy drinks thank you i personally couldn't believe how much sugar is in some things once i started looking at labels it's insane some things don't even need an extra 30 grams of added sugar According to reddit, wiping instead of using a bidet, edit, well that's gotta be my most popular comment ever, thanks for not giving me any shiny reddit medals, double edit, that last edit was supposed to be snark mocking towards people that do that, after moving to japan I have been fully indoctrinated into the butt fountain fan club, I've been in a hotel in tokyo for over a week now, the toilet has a bidet but I'm too scared to try it lol edit. Okay I tried it. It was. Interesting. Not sure how I feel about it tbh. Facebook. Well. We can only hope. Maybe YouTube. Too. Something's coming for it. And I don't know if it will survive. Hopefully. They didn't seem to realize that the reason people liked it. Was the freedom they used to give to their contributors. Greed killed it. For example, video game walkthroughs. I used to go to YouTube to find quick walkthroughs for things like finding collectibles or defeating a boss. Now everyone makes every video long as shit to give advertising their time. Just show me where the shit is on the in-game map. Dongs. 3 minutes tops. Social media influencers. I laugh about it now. Gee. So happy mom was an influencer when she was younger. These 25. 000 photos of her taken from the back holding her hat are just so interesting. Edit. Thanks for the silver. I really really hope it's how little we understand about diseases. How to cure them. Edit. My uncle just died from cancer at 49. His best friend was his son. They lived together in a small house after his wife left. He died a few weeks before his graduation. They used to play games and drink beer together. His son's eulogy was the most gut-wrenchingly sad and upsetting thing I've ever seen or heard. Ambitious maybe but a little bit of optimism and hope shouldn't go amiss. We understand a lot about cancer. And in fact a lot of people that study cancer are surprised that more people don't die from it more often. It's really fascinating to read about. Sorry for your loss. The main problem that we still face with cancer is that there are so many different kinds that each respond a little differently to treatment. Some are dealt with fairly simply with chemo and or radiation but others we still haven't figured out how to destroy yet. Photoshopping themselves. I feel like this is actually going to get more common and simpler too. With Ali being developed into the photo mod apps it's going to be almost natural. I mean not gonna lie photoshop is fun as duck. If it's not being used to deceive people what's the problem with it? Although I'm assuming you just mean photoshopping yourself with the intent to deceive. I, e haha doing a vacation, when they just shittily ps themselves into the burning Notre Dame cathedral. Plastic water bottles. Edit. All single use plastics. You mean single use? Yep, but part of me thinks that if things go wrong we might have air bottles like the Lorax. Hopefully throwing cigarette butts on the ground. It should be looked at as if someone is throwing a bottle on the ground. It's always blew my mind that filters aren't biodegrade. Like, when everyone smoked without them whatever they threw away would eventually disappear. Now that shit stays around for ages forever. I feel like the manufacturers of cigarettes care as much about the environment as they do their consumers health. Settling our disputes in legal cases and courthouses, instead of the Thunderdome edit. Well damn that kinda blew up. Thanks for the platinum kind stranger. Two men enter. One man leaves. Bus a deal. Face the wheel. Being anti-vax. I mean we laugh at that already but you know. Well be laughing because they'll be dead. The unfortunate kids will be dead. Pretty sure most antivaxxers were already vaxxed as kids so they'll still be healthy sort of. Can almost guarantee today's fashion will be. Hey that is cheating. 
You can say that about basically any era. It always comes back around. Fashion is very much cyclical. It might not be as extreme as it used to be. But let me tell you. I've seen numerous people in the city walking around in baby spice platform shoes. Minion memes. R slash wacky tic tacs. Paying for Wi-Fi. I don't know if 20 years is a good timeline for that. Both SpaceX and Blue Origin have plans for satellite constellations to provide basically worldwide Wi-Fi. But they are meant to be revenue generators to fund some of their more ambitious, less profitable missions. Maybe 50 years. That's not gonna happen. Do you laugh at someone for paying for electricity, water, etc? What you should say is how much we paid for it. Going hugely in debt for degrees because of the myth that you need a college education to be successful in life. Hopefully trades become accepted in the future. Electricians and plumbers will always be necessary. More people would go into the trades if more contractors treated their guys well. If the culture of casual racism, sexism and all-round apprentice abuse ended, more people would go into the trades. It is not that young people are not interested it is that they are not interested in being yelled at by some old alcoholic dunt. People are expected to work like ducking dogs in the skilled trades by a-holes who will lay them off without a second notice just because. For shite pay, little to no benefits, and no pension. Obviously union is a little different. I'm an electrician. I work more engineering, automation, controls. PLCS etc. I ducking hate construction trades because of the people. If the culture of casual racism, sexism and all round apprentice abuse ended, more people would go into the trades. Ducking truth. I went to tech school and worked as a mechanic for several years right out of high school. It was the most toxic, hostile work environment I've ever experienced in my life. Racism. Bullying. Abuse. Good old boy favoritism and years of grinding poverty while the other guys in the shop got all the gravy work. I would put a bullet in my ducking head before I went back to the trades. The biggest problem with the trades is the people who work in the trades. It turns out, when you go into an educated profession, it filters out the scum so you don't have to work alongside their bullshit anymore. One time usage objects edit, unnecessary one time usage objects. There are lots of things that need to be one time usage, needles, medical gloves, and such things really shouldn't be reused. Hopefully, ignoring climate change. No laughter because everyone is gone. The fact that I have had to scroll down this far to find a comment about the environment. MLMs edit, multi-level marketing. I almost always read this as men loving men lol. Hopefully, toxic internet fandom. It is escalating so fast these days that I think it will reach a crescendo at some point. And these people will look back on all the time they spent reading articles about every detail of the life of their idols and poisoning the well for whatever person the media, and sometimes the celebrities themselves, decide is their direct rival as something to regret and mocked. There have always been super fans, but internet forums, comment sections, and social media seem to have focused and amplified the most toxic part of this. Pretty soon, internet sites just won't tolerate too much bullshit anymore and even the celebrities will see how bad it is all around. I mean when singers, drag queens, and athletes are getting death threats from random people on a regular basis. This really isn't sustainable. Working 9-5. I wish. But I don't see people worrying too much yet. I wish the normal work schedule would be less. Area 51 raid. I remember it like it was yesterday. The Russians made thousands of Americans raid Area 51 as a joke but the Americans were too gullible and thousands lost their lives. Unprecedented I tell you. I feel like getting Americans to do stupid shit is an international sport to the info war departments of the rest of the world. Treating homeless people like inhuman scum. Or the giant money making industrial complex that the modern prison system has become. I'm not sure if people will be laughing at these things or looking at them like we look at slavery in the treatment of indigenous peoples. Serious answer. More awareness of mental illnesses. Everyone glorifying the diaper ass that Kim Kardashian made popular. Those tiny glasses. Yes. We absolutely should drink our vodka out of pint glasses. 
making cats into six-figure celebrities, including inviting them to public appearances and talk shows, costing them in commercials and movies, flying them all over the country world for appearances, and then later watching them die fairly young from all of the stress of being flown around the country world, passed around to various strangers, and handled by thousands of people hoping to get a selfie with a celebrity cat. Oh and don't forget doping them up for every one of these appearances so they don't get anxious. Who the duck pays attention to this shit? Using a car that isn't self-driving. Probably won't be laughed at. They'll be like how the hell did they do it? So much could go wrong. Hopefully chemotherapy. I had chemo last year. I'd probably be dead. Or dying. If I didn't have it. It's shit but if the alternative is death. I choose chemo. Unless I'm 80 or something. Then it's not really worth going through it. Plastic waste. The sheer amount of carbon and non-reusable plastics we pumped onto the earth from underground. Sharing basically our whole lives online. It's considered socially acceptable now for the most part. But I can't think of any other period in time where pretty much everyone put a large portion of their private lives on display. Allowing kids to undergo hormone therapy to change their gender. Sure they can't drink or get a tattoo but let's let them make a life altering decision. Supporting and funding animal abuse exclusively for pleasure. Not believing in aliens. Voting for a reality TV star to be president of the United States of America. Eating meat and dairy. Real housewife type shows. The fact that people find these type of show entertaining or something honorable should be laughable now and will be laughable in 20 years. PC culture. It's true. Anytime someone shows off their new battle station, it always looks like an RGB unicorn threw up all over their bedroom. Toxic politics. I just want there to be civil discourse about things that matter and can be factually proven, not based on feelings and stuff that we can't believe. How we worship PC culture and have degraded understanding context and basic critical thinking skills. Edit. Hi PC police. Yes people are getting fed up with your shit. Now first gen of PC that was just saying let's be kinder to each other. I am all for. Today's PC world where crying racism because your argument failed and acting smart by saying something something is racist for x reason. Is coming to an end. Basic critical thinking will make a comeback. People will decide what is racist on merit. Not because you cried and told them how to think. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.